Jesus to fry the Catholic unschooler, homeschooler, all around schooler. As you see my messy kitchen, that's okay, because it is what it is. And this is reality TV or phone. Hello, Lisa Fry here. Okay, so I am excited. Why am I excited? I have, a, I have good news for myself anyway. And for the world, because, because, if I'm healthy, you're healthy. Because you get a good dose of the Catholic unschooler. Oh yeah. And I can't forget this little doozy. So my neighbor this morning, as I'm walking my cat, this is not why I'm excited, but it helps. I added, what I'm about to show you, I added olive oil. And you want to get the olive oil that says one one place it's from, right? So mine is from Italy. I don't think the one I poured on it is, but the new product I got is. You see, um, rather than say from Greece and from this place and that place, get it from one place. That way you know it's pure and authentic. So I put olive oil, apple cider vinegar. Oh, you get over here right now. This is with, it's called the mother. See how it says the mother? Oh yeah. And you shake it up real good and you put a couple of cover, you know, capfuls on there. And I squeeze some lemon on there because lemon is good for you. And especially if you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> I'm always trying. Okay. So in the last four, my stomach is like really growling right now. Oh, I added feta cheese to this too. Let me get right back to you. Okay. Hold on a second. Hello, look, hands-free, everybody. Woo! So look at the size of this thing, all right? It looks a lot bigger. You'd be like, wow, Lisa, how can you eat all that? Even if it was that big, I could probably do it. But you see the, it is big. And Dr. Berg online would be so proud of me. Yes, I'm, I'm debating if I should put um, peppuccini peppers in here because that's what makes everything taste Italian. But I did add, so my neighbor gave me this beautiful salad. I added feta cheese, onion flakes, onion powder, garlic powder, the apple cider vinegar, olive oil. Wait, let me think. A half, even though it was a small avocado, I only added half. Yes, because that's because I'm motivated because I just came back to see my doctor, my physical today. It was wonderful, wonderful. All right. All right, I'm not gonna make this into a mukbang. Oh, I did put pepper on here too. So good. I just love, like when I say, I love salad. <laughs> Let me pray, Lisa. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Thank you, God. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord, amen. And I always pray for my husband and my daddy and grandpa and all the souls in purgatory. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. Amen. And I always say a prayer for a certain person, because I was instructed by heaven to do so. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. And I also want to pray for anyone who's prayed for my family and all the cancer patients in the world, because there are so many more people that I know that have cancer now. <laughs> All right, and amen, amen, amen. All right, let me see, let me see. I'm so grateful for the salad, like seriously, like she did not have to bring this over to me. It's wonderful, wonderful. All right, I'll go below the camera, hold on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look, this is what you want, honey. Let me show you how it's done. You take a capful however much you want, of the juice. Oh. Ha. And I'm going to have to cut up some. See that? Beautiness. Beauty is everywhere when you have these in your salad. Oh. All right. So I went to the doctor. Mama went to the doctor and the doctor said, he said, get this now, okay? I think it was about four months ago that I saw him, I think. Yeah. And in that four months, I only lost seven pounds. That's not good. I'm still celebrating because I'm still celebrating because I didn't gain the seven. Praise the Lord. I kept it off. I love the praise of the Lord. And what else? 
<sighs> oh yeah. Hmm. Listen, you ready? So my cholesterol, the bad, all right, we have good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. And this will prove to you that eating healthy fat is good. I am a big promoter. I'm a big, get it? Because I'm overweight. I'm a big promoter on eating healthy fat because Dr. Berg says so. And his logic makes sense, okay? His reason makes sense to me. So the avocado, right? The animal fat. I don't go and buy the lean stuff. No, 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 no. I go for the more fat. And so my bad cholesterol, right? We have good cholesterol, which our brain is mainly, mainly made up of. You need it. Um, otherwise, your body is going to compensate if you cheat of it, and it's going to make more of it. So eat the healthy fat. Now, healthy fat. I'm just looking at all this beautiness. Let me show you. I can't, I can't show you because I have to take the camera off the thing, and I can't switch it around because I got the case on it, and I'll oh, forget about it. Anyway, I'm just looking. Actually, hold on a second. Oh, I have a brain. I'm looking at all of this as I talk to you. Isn't it wonderful? <gasps> Now, Dr. Berg would not like apples, and he would not like tangerines, and he would not like bananas. So basically, the only thing he would like here is the lemon and the avocados. Okay. Now, why do I eat it anyway? Because God made fruit. God made fruit of the trees, and he said, eat it. So that's why I do it. All right. So anyway, my bad cholesterol, the stuff that clogs up your arteries and your veins, and then you end up having all kinds of problems. Mine was, you ready for the drum roll? You ready? Mind you, I eat healthy fat all the time, and I, and I was told by my nutritionist not to, and the American Heart Association will tell you not to, and I don't even know where to begin. I'm so excited right now, okay? So the bad cholesterol is like when you're eating the unhealthy fats, right? So your greasy, horrible canola oil chips, which I still eat chips. I ate a whole bag yesterday. Oh yeah. And my daughter said she did the same thing. It's very easy to do. I wish I had, oh, do I have it? Um, no, the bag. They're called Boulder. Oh my gosh. When you eat them, they are not greasy. You're, you're looking for the grease on your hand after the whole bag. And I'm like, how come it's not greasy? It's avocado oil and salt and potatoes. All right, but the one that I, that was the one I had yesterday. The other one has all of that, but I think it's got like cream or something because it's cheesy and it's my favorite chip of all. Anyway, that's probably my downfall. I got to kind of cut that out because too many carbs. Um, but I hope you're listening to me because... All right, my cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, like when you eat the Twinkies, when you're eating all the garbage and all the unhealthy fats. Mine was 167 when I went to see him, when I was going to the emergency room and all that there, and I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It was 167. Guess what it is now. Go ahead, you can guess. Go ahead, comment. I hate when they do that, right? Comment down below. All right, well, right now, I'm sitting pretty at a 78. I don't mind say, saying so myself. So I still eat pizza because now and then I just have to. I don't eat the spaghettis anymore. Like I said, I'll have the bread if I go to a restaurant, which is not often. Last night though, I am guilty that when that pizza came through that door, I am literally in bed, like literally. And my daughters walk in with what? Go ahead, say it, a pizza. And it wasn't only pizza, but breadsticks. I didn't go crazy with the breadsticks. I didn't even have a whole one. I just said, can you break me off a couple of pieces? That's it. And I had, I think one, one and a half slices of pizza, but that's in bed. That's bad. I'm not supposed to be doing that at all, at all. So I told him today, I said, I'm going to say Lord. Yeah. He's my Lord of the doctors. We'll put him in there. But I, hit, I, I said to him, I know, see my week spots. I know what I'm doing. I am not blind to it. I am an emotional eater. Like I love it. I love it. I love it. I love carbohydrates and I love to eat at night. I love to eat all the time. I don't really eat all the time anymore. So, um, but he looked at my, all my blood work and he said, it all looks really good. I think there was like one that he didn't receive yet, 
but he said it looked everything looks great and i said not bad right i said how come i'm overweight and all my numbers are good i said not bad though right 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 <laughs> he kept smiling he's looking at me like yeah <laughs> all right i have to take a bite of this again hold on Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Can you hear that? All right. So, I said, can I, would it be helpful if I talked to some kind of person? And I said, not a psychiatrist, just somebody that can like bounce things off, hold me accountable. I am seeing a nutritionist. I lost the seven pounds, brought it from my cholesterol from 167 all the way to 78 and kept the weight off so i was like and he goes you know what if your insurance covers it which i hope it does god's will be done with that one we'll start you on a hormone therapy if you want and i'm like well does it have any like thing that's weird am i gonna find out like years from now that like that caused something really bad and i mean <laughs> why would he say yes and offer it to me right so who still knows about that it's only been around for five years i think five or six and he says you give it to yourself in your stomach, in the fat cells, in the fat tissue, I mean, and it'll make it so you're not hungry. And I said, listen, I said, my motto, and it's a joke, but it is true, right? If I offer somebody some food here, would you like some salad? They say, oh, no, I already ate. Thank you. I go, okay, well, don't you know how to eat when you're full? So is that really going to help me? I know somebody that had by, what's that, by, by bariatrics, am I saying that right? Surgery. And they had to have a second one because the first one, they gained weight. So I'm saying all this hormone stuff, it's not about if I feel hungry. I mean, uh, all this losing weight stuff is not about like, you know, I, I, I eat when I'm not hungry. I'm very good at that. But the thing is, so basically I get hungry like one or once or twice a day. I tell you all of this because maybe you're similar. Maybe you're, you're relating. You're saying either that or you're looking at me like, Lisa, yeah, you got emotional problems, honey. And I could say, honey. I know I do, all right? Uh, and it ain't just because I lost my beautiful beloved husband and it's not just because my daughter ended up having cancer because I was doing this before all that when my life was wonderful, even though I had problems, maybe that's why. All right, so anyway, I'm taking another bite, hold on. So now, I'm gonna have more of this. So now, Where am I? What am I saying to you? Oh yeah. So taking these hormones, Mr. Doctor, is this, is this going to stop me from eating anyway? Is this all a waste of time? And he says, I would be surprised if you could eat. He goes, you're gonna feel very satisfied. And I'm like, that's, I, that's, that's me. I'm satisfied, but emotionally I want it. He goes, let's try this first. So I'm like, all right. Let me try the hormone thing. He goes, a lot of people have success on it. Woo. So I'll see him in four months for that. But I have to go back to see him for, in two weeks because my blood pressure, when I first got there, it was 130 over like 90 something. Wow. My daughter's home. I thought you were my mother. Well, I am. I'll be back to explain this. I, I, I have to go talk to my, my beautiful, beloved daughter. I would just like to show you how my car is gleaming after I washed it yesterday in the rain. Not bad. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, yeah. Also, if you're going to park in a shopping, in a shopping um, parking lot, my insurance company always tells me that if you back in and say you're backing, I mean, if you pull in, right, and you're backing out, then it's automatically your fault. So today I backed in. Out of all the millions of trillions of years that I've ever gone in the parking lot, I never backed in, ever. But you know what? I don't want to get into no accident. Now, I have to show you guys, if you haven't seen it already, these are the best chips on the planet right now. They're all healthy ingredients and they taste exactly like um, a very cheesy Pringle. Are you ready to rumble? Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, all right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Some things just make you cry. When I was a little girl, I always went to a relative's house and they were all Italians and they would have this big feast. I'm not doing a big feast, but on Sundays I've decided that, you know, I've always admired, you know, families getting together and oftentimes before my father passed away and even still, my siblings get together with my stepmother, but I cannot go there right now because of Sarah. And so I, I am making, I've decided I'm making spaghetti sauce every single Sunday that I'm home. Oh yes. And today, I just love this meal. My my mother-in-law, we call it a cup of salsa, right? It's so good, the sauce, that you just eat it by itself. Anyway, um, and when your daughter likes it, when your kids like it, it's like, yes. My mother-in-law had a recipe, Hamburg casserole, and and I don't want to eat the white pasta. So the only time I have an exception for all that is if I'm at a restaurant and I have um, white bread or when we order pizza. That's pretty much it, really. So I bought this stuff here. And it is chickpeas. Hold on a second. And without my glasses, I can't do it. Hold on a second. All right. Okay, so it is 30 carbs, because we can uh, subtract the fiber, which is only five, in two ounces is 30 carbs. It is a lot, but there's 11 grams of protein, whoa. And that's good that it has that fiber. And it's chickpeas, pea starch, tapioca, and xanthan gum that helps to thicken it. I, whenever I cook that stuff, I always rinse it off. I put it in a strainer and I just give it a good, good rinse. You know, get any kind of weird stuff off of it. I love it. It's much better than the pasta. Yeah, it still has a carb, so you have to be careful, but this is what I did. So this one is already assembled and it's got the the pasta like this. See the pasta? And the Hamburg. And the secret ingredient is, ladies and gentlemen, fennel seeds. This is what tastes like a sausage and that's the flavor you wanna kinda give this whole thing. So the reason why I wanted to show you, you know, I didn't layer it the way I was supposed to layer it, but I don't care. I just threw it all together. I'm gonna, the reason why I have separate is because I like, I like putting the, you know, peppers in general. My mother-in-law always did green peppers, but I saw these in the store and I love different color fruits and vegetables because they're offering you different nutrients. So that's what's going on after I load the cheese up. That's my mister. My kids pointed out that I always ask them, I say, mister, you wanna hug and kiss? And it sounds like I'm like asking a guy, mister, to hug and kiss. So I've noticed that on my channel, the things that people seem to really be interested in is this book. Oh yes, this is a great book. I haven't read the whole thing. But um, it's called The Secret Diary of Elizabeth. Is it Le I, I don't do good with saying those French words. Um, but it is awesome. I'd love to read it. So I don't know if I should read it and then tell you what it's about or read it on here because I know I personally enjoy listening to people read. I do. I listen to audiobooks all the time. If any of you know how to categorize, so I go on someone's channel, the exercise one that I like to watch, yes to next. And when you go on her channel, you see all the videos that are like five minutes long. Then you scroll down and then it's like all 10 minutes. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do that. I would love that. That way I could have, you know, instead of just all scattered, you could have it all categorized. I can do it somewhat, but I don't, what I really wanna do is if you know that and if you know how to, where I'm putting my podcast on my YouTube channel, whenever I go on to someone's podcast or YouTube, it'll say podcast, it'll give that category. So I don't know where you find that. Maybe it's because I never edit on a computer, it's always my phone. I don't know, maybe that's why. 
If you know, let me know. If you know, let me know. So now, you know what I'm doing? My girlfriend came over yesterday and she said, take lemons, which I have, but I didn't put the cinnamon, which would probably be very good. And I literally took the entire lemon, except for the seeds, and I just cut it up and food processed it, the whole entire thing. And then I made lemonade out of it. Some of the kids like it, you know, they, they like the pulp out of it though. I call it hairy. It's a hairy lemonade. And uh, I did put some orange slices in there as well. And I just keep it in a thermos. And, you know, I have learned that it will help with burning fat. Let's go. Can I use all the lemons then? And voila, ladies and gentlemen, it smells like a pizza. Oh yeah. Who wants to know how to cut watermelon the right way? The fry way. I do. Well, forget the old typical way of cutting a watermelon, going to a party, and you pick it up and it gets everywhere. It's dripping everywhere. It's all over your face. You can't really get in there because the thing's going like this. Forget it. I will show you how to do it one step at a time. So here's your watermelon, okay? I just cut the end off and I had, we'd already eaten it, but I thought, let me show these guys what to do. All right, I can't hold this and do this at the same time, so I'm gonna cut. You, you can do it however, however thick you cut it, that's the size you're gonna get. So check this, check this out. All right, there we go. So now what you're gonna do is, you ready? This is the only way I cut it now. Okay, so you can go in slices. <gasps> Oh gosh, that almost, that almost hit my foot. I almost dropped the knife on my foot. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. All right, now if you cut it this way, you, the more thick you do it, obviously it's gonna be a little harder to eat, but a reasonable amount, okay. Check it out, baby. I call these the watermelon lollipops, see? Ooh, check it out. Check it out, honey. Who wants to eat watermelon the way they used to when you can eat it like that? Mmm. What am I saying? There's so much to talk about. Okay, um, so yes, he's going to start me on this hormone therapy and I hope my insurance covers it. I usually don't look for the easy way out, ever, ever. I believe in hard work and train yourself and that's what i've been doing and i'm like you know what if it's natural he says it's all natural i'm like okay and i said my body will work on its own later on he's checking my thyroid it's like he's really digging in there i'm like oh. he's like i'm sorry and then i was like oh i didn't get a good one let me do it on the other side let me do it again and i'm like oh and he said everything was normal he's checking under my arms my, my paperwork i'm like i said how am i overweight so and and i'm healthier like not healthy that's not healthy to be overweight but I told him I noticed little changes, even today, you know, I still notice. They're very small, but they still happen, and I'm so excited. So I just wanted to leave you with that, to be encouraged, and I didn't know about this hormone thing. So I did call my insurance once, and they said they didn't cover it. He goes, it always changes, so we'll, we'll check it out for you, and I hope it does. And if it doesn't, all right, so in four months' time, we did seven. That means in another four months, it could be another seven. That's 14, right? Seven times two is 14, so that's good, right? It's just important. Oh, bon appetito. Today, I'm gonna take the yard and I'm gonna leaf blow everything. I mowed the lawn, clipped a lot of the trees. I cut through my $100 cafe lights. Not good, but I did. Julio said he's gonna fix it. My friend Richie from Alabama and his mama said that, because he's he knows how to do electricity, um, said it's okay to bond it all back together again so okay but yeah i cut through it can you believe it so that's gonna be fixed i cut all the things hanging down all low and everything so that's good now today i'm gonna go out i'm gonna blast the whole yard all my property on the sidewalk everywhere that i'm gonna do that yep and then i'm gonna start cleaning out like all the beddings i should really before i do that i'll probably plant i gotta do some planting I do. I'm going to take the dirt that's in the backyard that I put leaves over it every single year. It should be nice and nourished. And I'm going to do that. 
there's a, a blue spruce that looks like it's on its way out. So I went to the hardware store. It's a great store. And I got some stuff, miracle Grow stuff to put on it. And I, I took his advice. So yeah. So, all right. I'm going to go eat this beautiful and lovely salad. And don't forget to spend time with God alone. It's okay to not use your phone every waking moment like I want to do. But, um, yeah. All right, pretty good, right? Did I do good? Did I do good? I'm so excited, yes. And I, oh, I got a cleaning this morning and my teeth were looking good. Woo, we're healthy, 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 healthy. We just gotta lose this weight and bring down my blood pressure, honey. <laughs>